Greetings subscribers and other curious persons and welcome to another vlog on a topic suggested by the Goodreads Tuesday Talks group. This week's topic is share some of your unusual or underrated books. Well, I read an awful lot of books so that should be easy enough. I the first thought that came to me is that I could always do with more people to be rating higher on my books, but that seems a little bit disingenuous. And so I thought I'd go through my Goodreads list looking for books that I'd scored highly that weren't particularly famous. But as people who watched my video on book hype will know, I'm not actually that interested in which books are famous at the moment. So I couldn't be absolutely certain if a book was really famous or if it was unusual or underrated generally by the public. And so I thought, well, I'd go with the books that I was certain that were underrated. Talk about the authors I love who deserve more recognition. Misha Burnett's Book of Lost Doors, Anchorit Wells' Books of Requite. But most of the authors I think really are brilliant but aren't getting the traction they need are also people I know. And so is it fair to promote them by talking at length about their books? Or is it fair to go, well, I won't talk about people I might have an interest in, is that I'm excluding them unfairly? And then it occurred to me that people who want to see all the books I love will be able to look at my Goodreads profile and sort by star rating, look at the books I've reviewed in depth on my reviewed in depth shelf. And I really think about underrated books is that all books are underrated by the world as a whole. Even the ones that are ridiculously famous that you walk down the street and have difficulty grabbing someone who hadn't heard of them. Because each book is a new viewpoint on the world. Some books, books of philosophy, self-help books, DIY manuals, law, sociology, are a clear and distinct, focused look at the world. A new perspective on things that helps us find whether we accept or reject some or all of what's in the book, a way to being a better, more effective person, both in the sense of a moral social animal and in the sense of achieving our goals. Because more information is a useful way of becoming more effective, more efficient. But novels, children's books, poetry, they're all someone else's perspective on the world. An extra view of a situation that might at some point contain a fragment of a nuance of a better way of doing things. Even the books I've written myself weren't written by the me now, they were written by the me at the time I wrote them. So a collection of short stories I wrote, I released at the start of last year, containing stories that, on which I'd written a year or so before, or even earlier than that, reflect my perception of the world then. So even my own work isn't my perspective now, so might contain something that helps. So fundamentally, all books are underrated because no matter how famous a book is, there will always be someone who has decided it isn't worth their time to read. Whereas I 
try not to make that judgment. And the only reason I would is because I don't necessarily have access to every book in the world and the time to read it. My lack of Russian language skills leads me to rate books written in English higher than books written in Russian. My lack of infinite time leads me to rate a book that I can finish in two or three days over Proust's Recherche Le Temps Pendu when looking for something to carry with me because whilst I do read very quickly there are times when I don't want to be committed to a book for the length of time I suspect it will take. So some books that would give me something I choose not to read and I think everyone does that. So we're all underrating books that could give us a new insight. Obviously some of them will give us a better insight than others and we can't necessarily see all of the insights that we've got because the memory isn't perfect. But all books are unusual, are underrated, because they represent something that is fundamentally not the reader, but is also fundamentally an equally valid perspective on the world. So, there you go. Shocks all round, Dave's gone a bit philosophical. Toodaloo!